and welcome to Neosho County Community College. In this short tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to use the Context Manager within your course. To utilize the Context Manager, log in to Inside NC and then travel to your course. On the left hand side, under your navigation menu, you'll see the Context Manager icon. Select it once to change settings for this context. The Context Manager has five tabs at the top. The first one is the Properties tab. Here, you can identify the name or the reference in which you want your course to be called. After making the change in the text box field, select Save Changes. Then, select the second tab, which is called Pages. From here, you can see a listing of all of the pages within your course. You can select the default page by choosing the radial button in front of one of the page names. You'll see the default page for this course is Home Page. To edit the names of any of the pages, select the pencil icon to the right to change the name or select the trash can to delete the page. You can also add additional pages at the bottom by selecting Create a New Page or select the Reorder option, which gives you numerical values and the order of how the pages will appear in your course. You can modify these by typing in the correct numerical order that way, your pages will be in the correct order that you want them to be in. Once completed, select Save. The third section of the Context Manager is Subsections. A subsection is a subset of pages with a tab or context or a subset of another subsection. It is essentially a collection of one or more pages, which might be grouped together because they all deal with the same subject, or maybe they're intended for a particular group of people. To add a subsection, select Create New Subsection. Then, select a name for your subsection. I'll name mine Poetry Contest. Once you have named your subsection, select Create. Then, you'll notice on the far right-hand side that there is a checkbox option to display the subsections in the sidebar. By choosing the checkbox, the subsection will display on the left-hand side of the navigation pane, but instead of a page, it will appear as a folder. I'll select Exit so you can see how the subsection appears. Now, underneath the navigation bar, you'll notice a subsection called Poetry Contest. By selecting that, I now have a new page that I can go in and choose Edit Page and add additional portlets to. Subsections are great because here you can quickly organize information for your class. Next, we're going to travel back to the course that we were just previously in and go back to the Context Manager. From the Context Manager, we'll now select the Permissions tab. The system allows for two different types of roles, context-specific roles and base roles. You may want to create custom roles for different groups of people, such as guest speakers, teaching assistants, and others. Essentially, you can create a role if there is a group of people who should have a set of privileges that differs from that of existing roles. As part of the process of creating a role, you can add users to it, and you can also go back and modify the list of users later. At any time after the role is created, you can continue to grant privileges or deny privileges to that role. We'll begin by creating a custom role. On the Context Manager on the Permission screen, locate the Add a Role option. Select it one time. Here, you want to be very specific when identifying the role name. You could call it Peer Reviewer, 
work-study student, or any other name that is specific to the role. I'll select Peer Reviewer. Then, after identifying the role name, you can now add individual users to that role. Select Add Individual Users. Here, we get a database of all of the users within our system. Conduct a search for your user, and once your user is found, select it one time and select Add. Notice the selected user, Peter Panther, is now on the right-hand side of the screen. Select OK. You'll now notice that one user is selected for this role. Scrolling down, select the Save option. After saving, you'll notice the roles at the very top of your course. Faculty and Students is a global user. However, the Peer Reviewer is an option that we just selected. Now, you can make modifications or grant privileges to the Peer Reviewer. You can allow them to admin or you can also allow them to view specific pages within your course by selecting the check mark options. Choosing the check marks allows, us, allows them to have a student role where they can view these individual pages that I'm marking. This can be very helpful if you want to share your course with someone else. You can also add or remove a non-roster student. A non-roster student adds the user to the context-specific role and also gives the user full student-level access to the context pages and portlets. To add a non-roster student, select Add or Remove a non-roster student from the top. From here, you can then select to add a non-roster student. Then, select Individual Users by choosing Add Individual Users. Then, type the name of the student in the database. Once the student has been queried, select it one time and choose Add. Then select OK. Choose Save. On the left-hand side, it will show you the students that you've added to your course. Peter Panther has now been enrolled and he's a non-roster student. So now, Peter Panther will have access to the course. I'll select Exit. The last tab on the Context Manager is the Export option. You can use this tab to export your course into an IMS-compatible course cartridge, or keep a backup. But keep in mind, if you're planning on using this content in another course, you should use the built-in course copy instead. To export your course, select Export and Download the Course Cartridge. After selecting this option, it will ask you to open or save. That concludes this short tutorial on the Context Manager. As always, if you have questions, please direct them to acatterson at neosho.com.